From your local Houston BMW Center Studios, it's Faith and Fame with me, A.V., all powered by the Silver Lake Church, Church Beyond Sunday, 1865 Cullen Boulevard. I'm excited to have my brother in the studios, H-Town Zone, Marcus Jordan, Mr. Call on the name. What's up, man? What's going on, A.V.? Good morning. Hey, good morning. Good to see you as always. Let me, let me celebrate you, brother, because you are one of the most humblest brothers I've ever met in the industry. You've been number one before, number one again in the inspiration industry. You still got that million dollar smile on you, man. <laughs> man, I'm so humble, and I just want to tell you, um, I told you off air, but I will tell you that I appreciate all the love and the support from you, man. You've thank been you. just a blessing to my family, and my ministry. So thank you so much, man. I mean that. Thank you, man, and excited. Uh, not only tonight, it is the album release, CD release. Streaming release. I know we got so many titles for it now. We we from the old school, so we still say album, CD. We still climb up the charts. But My Life is the brand new project. How excited are you to still have a number one song, but you're about to release this entire project? Yes, my life. Look, I, I have, I'm tired right now because I have not been able to get any sleep. They woke me up last night saying that we debuted number four on iTunes chart. Um, we made number 53 on the all genre chart. Um, Apple Music has featured us on Best Song, this um, new release. So it's just been so amazing. I mean, this project is well rounded. Um, I yeah. shot a video last Sunday for my wedding song. So I'm getting ready to release uh, that. So. Wedding song. Yes, I wrote a wedding song way back when I was at Music World. <laughs> and just to see it come to life now, 10 years later, it's just, it's super amazing. And just to see the video, um, the video guy, my videographer, Photographer showed me, sent me a, like a snippet of the video um, that he was editing, and I just pretty much got teary-eyed. So I'm super excited about just the project because it's well-rounded, and it's kind of like a crossover project. So I'm really just excited, man. My life. Marcus Jordan, my special guest, as we break down the blessings of faith and fame with A.V., the concert will take place tonight at the Abiding Missionary Baptist Church. Yes. That's on Bridgeport Road, 7.30 p.m. I'll be hosting, so I'm excited about it. How did that time in music world shape who you are today? I mean, it made me want to become an artist because, you know, at that time, they were at the height of, mm -hmm. you know, just doing it, you, you know, just doing amazing things and just being in the back playing in the band, traveling and touring and just seeing, you know, like Solange knows I'm playing behind her, seeing yeah. her on stage. And then, you know, when she found out I could sing, she was just like, man, why y'all ain't telling me? I was just telling my wife that. She's like, why y'all ain't telling me this fool could sing? And I started laughing. She came into the house of Darion and said that. Then she would put a mic back there, you know, and just telling me about my writing ability and stuff like that. And then today, you know, to implement what, she's tell, you know, what she told me back then and then to see how far I made it this far, it's mm. just so amazing, man. It's a blessing. I'm excited about it. You made it real far with this hit. Call on the name. You got everybody doing it across the country. H-Town Zone, Marcus Jordan, breaking down the blessings with me, A.V., right here on Praise. 92 and fame with me, A.V. Marcus, man, it's good to see you. Pastor. Yes, sir. Officer, artist. It's so glad to be, I'm so glad to be here. It's author, so good to be here. I don't know what else to call you, bro. What else you do? I do a little bit of everything. <laughs> <laughs> man, just, just the success of Call on the Name. I know you're amazed by it because every time... I have you on the show, man. It's like a new level of excitement I see in your eyes. I know it's just amazing seeing the dream come true. Definitely, because it's like it keeps happening. It's like it keeps growing. Um, you know, I was really, I w they was like, hey, you need to take down your EP. Don't release it right now because this song is still growing. But yeah. I'm like, it's time to move on. So it's just like but people still love calling the name. Yes. And I'm so glad because people send me messages literally every day. And it encouraged me, A.V., because, you know, I almost died from COVID. Yeah. So that song was burnt during that time. So just to see it still bless people and people, it resonates with people. And people say I was at the, bur you know, at, at, at the, mm -hmm. I was at the end of my rope I was about to give up I was about to throw in the towel I heard this song in the nick of time and it just made me just praise God and thank God and now I feel better I'm doing better so yeah yeah I love it because I believe music mirrors the situation when people hear it yeah it mirrors what that artist was going through at the time and so that's where I think a lot of times it resonates with people because in that moment, that's what you want to do. Like you said, I'm on the brink of death. I'm calling on that name. I don't, I've heard mama and grandmother and everybody else talk about it. This is the time for me to call on the name. And as God raised you up, so he has with other people. And when you see that happening, when you see Ooh, that blessing the lives of people for you, I know it's like fuel to the fire. It helps you to say, well, let me move to the next level with my life and encouraging people. 
Definitely. And with the new project, My Life, um, I wrote that song while I was at work. Mm -hmm. I wrote the song pretty much about three minutes. Um, I called the producer, which is Zane Gibson, um, and I said, hey, man, I need a quick turnaround on this production. Um, he gave it to me. I ran it by my best friend, um, and he was just like, yeah, man, I think we can do something with this. I wrote it on Friday, went in the studio and recorded it on Sunday. And my life is just pretty much about really my life, um, mm -hmm. you know, what I've endured and just how God has brought me from point A to point B. And he's used people as vehicles to get me to my destiny. And I'm forever grateful for that. I love it. Tonight, CD release live concert, Abiding Missionary Baptist Pastor Church. Pastor Jonathan Taylor. What's up, Dr. Taylor? That's my brother and yeah, First man. Lady Taylor. Good, love them. Good people. 14145 Bridgesport Road. And it's going to be a great time. I know you got a lot of special guests that's going to be there. I'm going to be hosting. So, you know, we're going to have a lot of fun and inspire you as well. Definitely. I have um, Gail Stewart and Praise for Her Daughters. They are super amazing. I have my friend Nevaeh. She's super amazing. Um, I think Xavier, Charles Lamb. I mean, Zay Lamb is coming. Um, and I think Patrick Williams okay. and Unity and Praise will be ministering as well. And then you'll be hearing from me and my family. Yeah, yeah me and my good. friends. And it's going to be amazing. The singers are super amazing. Um, the band is amazing. So um, Patrick Williams just uh, let me know. He just sent in that he will be there. He just right. confirmed. But yeah, so it's amazing. So I can't wait. I can't wait. I really can't wait. And Patrick Williams and Unity and Praise, they're awesome choir. Yeah. Um, just they've been, you know, working forever. And I think God is getting ready to shift their ministry as well. So be on the lookout for them. So God is so amazing, man. Yes, he is. You can head over to our Instagram. I posted it. Flyer on there as yeah, well. Yeah, y'all come out. Y'all yeah. come out. If you ain't doing nothing, y'all meet me in the place tonight. I'm telling you, it's going to be total pandemonium. Uh -oh. And bring your dancing shoes. Yeah, he liked to dance. Man, yeah. I got. I want to ask you about something that's been at the top of the news. I know you being an officer, so I definitely want to talk about the Tyreek Nichols thing and, and what we can do better in the community in the relation between officers and the community because we want to definitely move forward. And you being a man of God, I know it's passing it to your heart. More with my brother. Marcus Jordan on Faith and Fame with me, A.V. I have Patrick Williams and Unity and Praise. They're a super great choir. I'm going to have Gail Stewart and Praise for Nevea, um and her family and her friends. Uh, they're coming. And we have Zay Lamb um, who's coming as well. Um, so I'm just super excited about um, it. Um, and he's... Um, I'm just, I'm just, yeah. I'm just super excited. I'm super That's excited. Keep that, so, keep that excited. Look, I'm inviting man. everybody. Come on out. Yeah. Come on out. Keep that excitement tonight, 7:30 p.m. of Body Missionary Baptist Church. That's on Bridgeport Road. Uh, Pastor Jonathan Taylor and family. So looking forward to that tonight, 7:30 p.m. Now, how long have you been in law enforcement? Monday, I'll make six years. Man, Monday, I'm coming up on six years. So yes, yeah. it's been a. Um, I'm just glad to be working in my desired career. I, I like that. Desired Seriously. career. Yeah, yeah. You know you want, you were playing cops and robbers when you were young, I'm sure. <laughs> He's like, Marcus, I'm going to be the cop. I'm going to be the cop. But, man, so much is going on in the world. We know the Tyrese Nichols situation, and we saw those five, six officers being relieved of their duty for the horrific video that went across the country. Man, how do we bridge that gap between policing and community? Because we're in this day and time where people say, all right, we know that they're there's not 100% bad cops in the world. We understand that. You, you're a friend of mine. I got several other brothers who are law enforcement officers as well. You know, people want to see officers step in when something like this happens. But how do we continue to grow and bridge that gap between policing and community? Um, first and foremost, um, it's a tragedy, and it's unfortunate that those officers abuse their power and cause the loss of life as a result. But I want the community to know that there are good cops out there with good intentions. And I'm one of them. And both sides have to come together. The community and law enforcement have to come together for the betterment of the community. Police forces have to, I feel in my opinion, have to punish bad apples swiftly as they have in this case to help rebuild that trust. Mm -hmm. And that's what it's all about. You, um, you bridge the gap by building trust within the community. And that's what it's all about, in my opinion. Is there some kind of code? I don't even know if I'm asking this question right, that makes officers not step in when a situation like that, that happens? Uh, uh, what is keeping officers from stepping into a situation when we see officers abusing their power, as we did on the video with Tyrese? It could potentially be the loyalty to the officers, to other officers, mm -hmm. um, because sometimes they feel as if, you know, it's law enforcement versus the community. I got you. When we're all one. Mm -hmm. We're all because we all, like you say, we all know somebody who works inside of law enforcement or you might have a cousin, friend, pastor, things like that. But my thing is, is that it's all about building trust 
by way of showing love and exemplifying love. We're our job is as public servants is to help somebody. Mm-hmm. Well, let me speak for me. That's yeah. why I got into it to help others, um, and that's what I'm very passionate about. So I know that per policy for most agencies, we all have a duty to act, especially after the Joy Ford case. Yeah. And when you see something that's not right, you have a duty to act right then and there. And I know as for me, that's what I'm going to continue to do if I see something that's not right. He because is. I have a son, and I very, yeah. I love him so much, Marcus Jr., so I wouldn't want that to happen to my son. I love it. He is Marcus George, my special guest. Can you hang out a little longer with me? Yes, sir. I know yeah. you got to get your hair cut good, beautified, and all <laughs> that stuff, but hang out with your boy. We're going to talk more about the live project and what we can do in a conversation with our sons. I'm glad you said that because that's in a whole other conversation we need to have teaching our children how to interact with officers, but just how to live life without being in fear. Yes, we sir. don't want them to do that. That and more on Faith and Fame with me, A.V., on the way. We're Excited cool. about tonight. It is a CD release live concert at the Abiding Missionary Baptist Church. My special guest this morning, one and only pastor, officer, artist, writer. You got books too, bro? <laughs> no, but no I'm going to write a book. You write a book. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, and, sir. And then Marcus Jordan has been hanging out with me. Appreciate you, man. Man, I appreciate you having me, AV. Thank you. You know, I told you I appreciate your love and your support for real. Thank you so much. Yeah, we're excited about tonight's CD release live concert. Got a lot of great guests. I'll be hosting that, of course, calling the name. As we said, man, the success of this song, to see it go number one, go down a little bit, come back up. Man, that's that's a blessing. That doesn't happen too often. And it doesn't happen too often. And I'm just so super grateful to God, to God be all of the glory. And I just want to tell everybody who supported the single, who supports the single, and support me, I really appreciate you and thank you so much. Like, seriously. Yeah, I know we got to ask, and we always ask this question, you know, what can everybody expect tonight, man, at the live? Tonight, it's just going to be a praise and worship experience like no other. Because I'm just coming to praise God, to tell him thank you for all the, you know, the the blessings that he's bestowed upon me and I just want to do it you know we're you know I'm a force by myself uh, I'm a movement by myself but we're forced when we're together so I I'm joining spiritual forces with everybody that's coming to you know celebrate with me tonight and we're just going to give God our best praise and give God worship because he's do that a lot of people don't know about your history of the music world family you know where we everybody's excited about Destiny's Child Salons and the list goes on and on and on we talked about how that shaped you what's have has been your inspiration behind your writing perspective because I know you're right. We we understand call on the name of the Lord. You're going through COVID, so this is really you calling on the name of the Lord. But this next project, my life, what was the uh, the motivation? Just to inspire and encourage people um, and to motivate them to push themselves. Never give up on your dreams. Um, I tell anybody that's listening, never give up on your dream. Never give up on your dreams. Right when you're at the, you feel like you're at the edge, you know, and you're about to just give up throwing the towel, that's the time when you need to trust God the most because your breakthrough is literally right around the corner. I mean, you're right at, you know, your breakthrough. So never, ever give up on your dreams. I mean, and trusting in God is a song that I wrote um, to just encourage people to trust God because I had to trust God for myself. Yeah. And I'm sitting before AB at Praise 92.1. You come can't on. tell me who God, you <laughs> can't tell me what God will come do. Come on, my brother. Come on. Listen, I love it. And I love the fact that, man, you're inspiring the generation. Like you said, you're with your son, you got your family, everybody's in invested into the music ministry with you and you not only doing music, you working as well. You working a lot of dreams at one time. Definitely, man. I, you got to put the work in and I'm about that work because I don't want to, I want to lead by example. Mm-hmm. I want to tell somebody, hey, man, you got to do your best on the job and, you know, obey those that have rule over you. You know what I'm saying? You know, submit to authority. And I want to be able to tell somebody that from experience, you know, know. and I want to, I want people to see that Marcus Jordan is really about that work. Like he's not just talking. He's for real, for real. He is for real, for real. One of the most humblest guys that I know. Get ready for city to release tonight at the Body Missionary Baptist Church at 6, 7.30 p.m. I got more with Marcus Jordan right after Forever Jones.